feeling the vibrations like elevating and yeah we had our trials and tribulations with this with the place and the space and they still welcomed us with open arms and we played an incredible show and fuck yeah how, how did you guys feel about it bro honestly i have never performed in france my mom is french it was so sick to see people saying the lyrics to my songs in french like they actually knew them that was a really cool part for me in france and uh, to see like you know arabs in france are different than arabs in like canada and in america and stuff and i, I love those guys wallahi that that it was a really cool show i think it was like a unique experience like first like it's just like we're grateful that like even the few people who like knew us or whatever, or the people who did know us to even come out in the first place, that's like super, super cool that there's people in France like listening to what we're doing. But on top of that, like um, just like the fact that there's like a crowd that came to a venue with open ears to listen to, to something like something new and like take it in and become new fans. Like I thought it was cool. Like not many countries are like as open and willing to just ex accept sounds and just go to gigs to hear things like that so it was definitely a, a unique experience and some one thing that i'll like you know keep with me for the rest of my life and also what i will say just one thing yes we went Marek set up Marek, uh, uh our manager set up a um a studio session with the fourth act coast the day before yeah. and i think wallahi that was such a smart move because we really got into a vibe together we made a banger made um a banger. And yeah, wallahi, shout out Coast, what a legend. She performed with no shoes on, like she's just an absolute legend. <laughs> so yeah, that was a really, that, that was cool. The energies were, were aligned from the beginning, I feel like. Also want to say, I love how this question will just drive the rest of the interview. Also. But uh, it's less of an interview and more of a conversation, I feel, which is important. And we're all conversation openers. I feel like in this era of artists, of, you know, change and making an impact through music and art, we're tapped into this very special in-between where we can hold on to the traditions and the aspects of our culture that we hold high and that drives us forward and also integrate elegantly with grace and high level art and quality of music into the Western world, which once colonized our thoughts and ideals. Not to say this is some reverse colonization because I don't even acknowledge <laughs> that as a concept. That's wild. And I heard that word going around up in Paris and I was like, actually like, yeah so i'm like for fans i was talking to after the show was like you know they're calling it like there's so many brown people in paris they're calling it reverse colonization and i'm like no freaking way like that's insane to me but there's no reverse racism or reverse colonization and we are out here spreading our voices and music and love for the world and finally being proud of our heritage in a in a fresh and innovative way as change makers do so yeah we're hitting the stage one more time all together in london with Melik Polo and a few other amazing, amazing people that we connect with out here on the fifth Friday night. Let's go. Let's let. Okay, why don't you start answering with the next? What was the first meal you had in London? First meal we had in London. The first meal I had in London was something I brought from the Eurostar. I didn't even eat. Uh, I, I didn't eat. I didn't. I didn't eat. No, no, I didn't. Why? Because I like to uh, keep. I had a Red Bull, yeah, but like, because uh, I like to get like a little bit hyper before the show. But do you endorse Red Bull? <laughs> I don't know, like necessarily the health uh, uh, effects. Oh shoot! I forgot about that aspect. <laughs> No, I don't then. No uh, comment, no comment. Uh, Bayou, what was it like to be on the same bill as Kanika? The same what? The same, same lineup. Like it's an honor, wallahi. Oh, okay. You put him on the spot. She's the <laughs> queen of Cairo over here, wallahi. And she, uh, like I love what she does for like like all like the all girls in Egypt and just like in general, like what she's done in Egypt so far. Like she's really pushing boundaries and like uh, really saying and showing, like also displaying visually like how a lot of uh, people feel and, and think but aren't able to do yet. So she really is like a voice for, for, like, for our generation. So it's really exciting to be alongside her and be a part of what we're doing. We were planning for tears on this and segment. 
what I what I will say about Feluca is uh, a lot of you watching probably don't know her personally. I didn't know her personally until maybe five days ago, and uh, I never I didn't have a big sister growing up, and like. I, I swear, no man, I'm not even kidding. Like it's re it's it's like I want to run every life decision by Sara to be honest for the rest of my life, and she's the she's just an incredible person on a personal level, and it's reflected in her art because she's very true to who she is, you know. So uh, for me, I'm I'm gonna take Bayumi's question. It was I've 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 been on Feluca for a fat minute, and I'm so honored to like be able to like be a part of her world in that way, you know. I want to return the gratitude and that feeling of abundance to these two and to everybody who openly supports, you know, peers, artists, you know, running in the same era of time and space. Like, we have to be together. We have to support each other, create music together, have conversations. Like, that's what we're here to do. And, yeah, it's a blessing to be putting that all in, re in motion in real time. Because a lot of the stuff is internet connections, right? And you see somebody on, on Instagram, on TikTok, you hear their music on Spotify, through a playlist, whatever it is. And that'll do something to your soul on a connection level, on a deep level. But then sharing the space in real time and playing shows together and booking studio sessions, having a conversation like this out in the park and where we stalk well, right? Shout out stalk well and the um, But yeah, when you're sharing that space, for sure, for sure, it just moves different magnitudes like there's a ripple effect that we might not even know about in a few years just how this moment maybe impacted a listener or uh, somebody who looks up to any of us in a certain way it's really really special so a uh, shout out to Mr. St. Levant over here Mr. Marwan when I was walking here with Henry you we were talking about like you know you're talking about how like online people see they 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 end up feeling like oh they they know this person through the art they know the yeah. this music through like this the person through like the the things that they put out and the thing that like me and Henry discussed like that like is so great about Marwan is that like he speaks really like about like what he lives through what he feels like what he thinks he's like you know he he puts his opinions out there like through his music yeah. and like you know that's what all great artists do man like. Uh, so that's why like someone would listen to the weekend and feel like he knows his story and knows how it feels but at the same time they put it back in their shoes and they say like yeah man like man yeah i should be talking to my therapist my whatever like we don't live exactly the same lives you know what i mean so like not everything like i hear from him necessarily like i relate to but then like there's things i'm sure that other people are like shit man this guy's really speaking for for like for for me and so, like, that's something I learned from him and, like, uh, trying to implement in my music, too. But he's just a sick artist and just sick to be around that energy all the time. Yeah, I'm, like, sorry that I dodged that DM in the beginning. I didn't dodge it. I didn't even see it. And, like, apparently, like, months later, I did. Somebody put me onto your sound. My, actually, Tara, shout out Tara also, who's not here. Um, fire manager was just like you need to work with St. Levant I don't know how many times I'm going to say it and I'm like word <laughs> and I actually properly listen and I'm like yeah okay facts that's respect and both both St. Levant and Bayou you know, like both of you are tapped into something really special and I would just say continue to freaking do what you do because authenticity is like the most promising thing and if you can be yourself fully on stage in the studio with your friends with your homies with everyone you work with it's just a certain level of honesty that goes so far and that can change into anything because you're honestly openly experimenting in this life and learning new things about yourself it's so awesome and to not be genre bound as well like my mind's on psychedelic rock while i'm rapping and giving bars you know in the studio and my mind's thinking about jazz and it's beautiful to incorporate different sounds into your the sound that comes out of you. Uh, Renaissance by Beyonce, of course, it's just dropped, so I had to spin that. And it's been really, really putting me on a different frequency. You know, pop artists or R&B, formerly hip hop, Drake even, dropping house projects. That's pretty freaking fire, I'm not gonna lie, I'm with it. I don't know how you guys feel about that shift. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Anna, for me, uh, I've been, first of all, love you, bro, love you, Anjad, thanks. <laughs> um, this artist, I, like, I just DM'd him today, his name is Sean, a uh, French guy. He has an album called Reste Prince. Wow, love that fucking album. It's actually so sick. That's, for me, rotation. Uh, for me, I've just been listening to Here and There.
I never meant to be this way. Yeah. Here and there is a project between me and uh, Saint Avon. It's gonna go crazy, wallahi. Like visually, aesthetically, musically, uh, like the whole story, everything. I'm super proud to release it. So that's why, like. I've just been listening to it because it's just a work that I'm really proud of. No distractions. And yeah, man, I'm not trying to get influenced by outside, man. I'm on my own wave. <laughs> That's valid, but don't you feel like you live in an ecosystem where you're constantly you're taking in and putting out? You're always taking But like, you know, sometimes you got to sit down and like see what the, what songs are singing in your head. I was supposed to be a class on my A game And my daddy doesn't understand what I do Running two tracks loud Lil, Lil, Big Wayne never, Lil Wayne never listened to any albums when he was working. Exactly. Nah, we, we're getting fact. influenced. Like, we're shout out Bernard, bro. Ibn Itaka. Like, we met him five days ago. Like, he's put us on this whole new wave. He's hey. teaching Henry a lot of things. Henry's teaching him a lot of things. Yef, bro. Josh. These guys are crazy. Mm -hmm. Paolo. Like, we're just, I'm just. Most thank. Yeah, yeah, craziness. So I feel like we're in, a, yeah, definitely going back, going back to the space and time shit. Like, shout out the Love Serum. That's my upcoming record. And I'm super excited about that. And I feel like we're all tapping into our own visions times 10, which is the dream to continue elevating that way. Next question. If, uh, what are some of your peers that y'all y'all been fucking with recently, really look up to people you see in the same lane as you who you want to collaborate with? Shit. So many, so, so, so many people. Um, shout out Nadina Ruby, definitely making waves. A Petty is definitely making waves. We got um, Zena. I freaking love Zena on another level. She's an uh, Arab gal in Canada. R&B like no other and some toxic girl content that I personally live for. <laughs> uh, for me, probably Marwan Musa, like I think. Why well, yeah, that was mine? Yeah, like, no, 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 no. Marwan. Marwan Musa, bro, I need you. To, no, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. But like, <laughs> basically, the guy is just like, like he he made he first this guy makes a drone, then makes a bounce, then like now is like expanding on it, like and like taking the bounce like on alternative ways within its own like alternative genre, and like now, it's kind of crazy. And bro. now he's gonna rap in German with me. Come on, brother, let's do it. Français, <laughs> Allemand, Arabic. Come on, let's do it, bro. Come on. Yeah. That's facts. So much good talent in the region, honestly. No, but can I also say a couple of people? Uh, shout out Blue Pfeiffer from Lebanon. Insane, bro. I love her. Shabish Deed, Nadir, Dabur, Seyd Khalid, Idrisi, Kul Hadol, Zain, Synaptic. There's so many people in our region. Oh my goodness. Bint uh, Halal as well. There's, 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 there's really a lot. Abir. Oh, Abir. Facts. And for me personally, it, well, it's not my peer, but Hamza. I'm coming for you, brother. Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a song together. I, I wallahi, I love that that guy. Um, so yeah. Um, what can people expect to hear at the Lebanon Festival? Like, what are you gonna do? Damn, I'm playing. I've been playing this new song that like I'm sitting on, not sitting on. It's coming out next month. It's called. Yeah, I know you my Uh, Paris kind of went crazy for it, which I'm so happy to have experienced. And London as well at their show at The Grace the other night. Um, just popped out, did that song in Nipsey. And they were really, really feeling it. So I'm excited to play that again. Just get go crazy with it, really. Um, and then definitely some of my Luca classics, because I don't like to let the people down, fam. But, yeah. And then, we're, are, we, are we saying this? That what we're doing at her show? Or? <laughs> this won't be out. Well, uh, we're going to be uh, performing here and there, which is our uh, project, Anna Ubayumi. We're going to be in our suits. We're going to be with our mustaches. And uh, we're going to go fucking crazy. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm excited. Is a big roll a biscuit? Oh, that's good, yo. I have Newton bars. Right, the fig rolls are a Newton bars kind of thing. Oh, Agua, the ones that have the Ajua, thick yeah, yeah, exactly. Is it that's a that's a good no, question. It, it's, it's like soft. No, but on the outside, it's breaded, I think. But it's like a cookie. I feel like a biscuit is uh, is you have to crunch into a biscuit. I feel like I've I've known some soft. No, you guys, what about biscuits like the American biscuits that you have for breakfast? Because that's a biscuit and that's soft. 
Okay. Yeah, but relax, because what kind of biscuit are we talking about? Because in America, it's different. Like, it's like chips. Talk about are we talking about biscuit. fries, or are we talking about <laughs> chips? But, like, shib is... Oh, UK biscuit? I don't know what that means. Well, you can't say biscuit, UK biscuit, that is a cookie. But now you've complicated <laughs> everything by a thousand. Next question. Oh, my God, yes. I would say no, though. It's not a biscuit. We got a lot of good stuff. Uh, fuck yeah. Fig rolls. Oh, the sun is coming in. I feel like down. people. I know. I don't. I don't want to talk down either. But the tube situation on a Saturday night is not pleasant. That's for sure. And also the Victoria line is hot as balls. Yeah. What's up with the AC? Oh, can we get that fixed? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, London's crazy. been amazing crazy. energy though. Like fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're like great city. A lot. Yeah. I feel like this is good, unless you have like maybe one more question. Keep going, man. Uh, what do you forget to do the most? Forget to do? Damn. Count my blessings. Like, I just be so caught up in reaching and dreaming and yearning that, and it's so important to dream, but if you don't recognize the beauty and the abundance that's around you, you can never ne elevate to the next step and reach for more. Like, you already have everything inside of you and around you. So, tapping into that for me. I, I don't want to answer after that. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, I I'm with her. That's fine. Yeah. Um, what's a game that no one can beat you at? I don't be gaming like that. So ping, pong, ping pong, ping oh, pong. I'll wait. fuck anyone. <laughs> Wallahi, I'll fuck anyone. That's a game. <laughs> FIFA? FIFA. Yeah. Shout out FIFA Shout for out. my personal reasons. Wallahi, I'll play it. 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 I